So since our fundraiser of spaghetti and meatballs, a few of you guys have asked how I make them and to share the recipe. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, right now I've got five pounds of hamburger, which we got from Neville's. It's always best to use fresh hamburger, uh, not stuff that's been frozen at any point. It's true for any type of meatball or meatball, whatever you want to eat. Uh, today we're making pork fine meatballs so that we don't have to have anything else with it. So we got our five pounds of meat here. I'm gonna wash my hands again so I can season it up for one second. To season it, wash my hands again after touching the hamburger. We got seasoning salt. Yeah, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and ground mustard. Cumin. Mm, you can season it with whatever you want. This is just what I use, what I prefer. And then a lot of you were shocked that I used pumpkin. I use pumpkin as a binder as opposed to eggs. Plus it gives, stinks you a little bit more vegetable. Um, because we have a total of five pounds hamburger and we'll be using two pounds of uh, sausage. You got a big can of pumpkin. We'll use about half to two thirds of the can. You can still use, you know, your eggs and breadcrumbs, whatever you would normally use. Um, I just prefer this. Uh, I do have a egg allergy, so I just replace the eggs. And then we're going to add our two pounds of sausage. Just regular breakfast sausage. I am going to wash my hands again soon. Okay, next we got cheese. This is also to taste, so however much cheese you like. Keep in mind that this is going to put a, quite a bit more grease in your baking pan when you go to cook them. Um, this time we're going to be making pork pie meatballs because we're not going to have a a side with our meatballs. To do this, you want instant rice. You don't want the... Uh, you want to use instant rice so that it cooks all the way while your meatballs are cooking. Just get a good amount in there. Probably, I'd say, close to two cups. Next, we're going to mix it up with our hands. That's why I got gloves on now. You want to mix it up really good. Keep folding it over until it's mixed up well. Hey, now that we got it all mixed up well, we're going to form our meatballs. So, the best thing to use is a glass baking dish. Um, I found that when you use the darker pans, when you use the aluminum or non-stick pans or whatever, it, they seem to dry out a little bit. We're making these a little bit larger, so when you, uh, you're going to want to preheat your oven. So about 400 with these larger meatballs 
is going to take about 45 minutes. Normally, with the smaller meatballs that you would want for, um, let's say spaghetti and meatballs, those would take about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, to check if your meatballs are done, you're gonna press the top of them. And if they feel like the softness of your lip, that means they are not fully cooked. If they are firm, like the tip of your nose, that is a, a sign that they are fully cooked. Uh, I hope you guys have a good experience with this and I hope you try it out and let me know how, how it went. Uh, enjoy the meatballs.